Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about aardwolf aardwolves play a positive role in the ecosystem by limiting the number of termites throughout their natural range. The aardwolf is the lesser known cousin of the striped and spotted hyenas. Because it's shy, elusive, and nocturnal, it's rarely encountered by people. The name aardwolf essentially means earth wolf in the Afrikaans and Dutch languages, but this is misleading because it's not a wolf at all. Instead, it belongs to the hyena family, a fact which is fairly obvious from its appearance alone. It looks quite a bit like a striped hyena, whose African habitat overlaps with its own. This article will cover some interesting facts about the identification, diet, habitat, and behavior of the aardwolf. Aardwolf versus hyena as just mentioned, the aardwolf is a member of the hyena family, and its appearance is quite similar to a hyena. The main differences are that the aardwolves are generally smaller in body size, they live in smaller groups of family units, and they consume insects rather than carrion or larger prey. Incredible aardwolf facts. Aardwolves are thought to be an example of a primitive hyena. This essentially means they may have evolved from a very early branch of the hyena family before the other three species came to be. Based on genetic and fossil evidence, they probably diverged from the rest of the hyena family at some point between 15 and 32 million years ago. It was once thought that the aardwolf may not be a hyena at all, but rather a closely related species mimicking the appearance of the striped hyena to trick potential predators, but this explanation has fallen out of favor as scientists have gathered more evidence. Because aardwolves are specifically adapted for eating termites, some of their teeth have evolved into blunt pegs barely even capable of chewing meat. Their powerful jaws are used to defend territory instead. An alternative name for this species is monhar jackal, which means main jackal in Dutch, even though it isn't closely related to jackals at all. Appearance The aardwolf might be accidentally mistaken for a hyena if you don't know what key identification markers to look for. The most prominent feature is the strong dark stripes against a backdrop of brown or yellow fur with additional black markings around the feet, tail, and muzzle. It also has a thick mane running from the head to the tail and large triangle-shaped ears. However, compared with most hyenas, it also has five toes on the front feet instead of four. Most members of the species are about three feet long and weigh between 17 and 31 pounds. This makes them the smallest member of the hyena family. Males and females look almost identical in coloration and size. Behavior because of their shy and elusive behavior, there is still a lot about the aardwolves we don't yet understand. For a long time, it was thought that the aardwolf was a solitary creature. But in fact, as we've since learned, the basic unit of the aardwolf's social life appears to be the family, which consists of a breeding pair and their immediate offspring. There is little evidence it forms larger packs or groups for long periods. The breeding pair raises the offspring together nearly all year long and defends their territory against outside aggressors. They may create as many as 10 dens, as well as several waste disposal areas, within their territory. The den is usually composed of a simple hole, crevice, or abandoned porcupine or aardvark burrow in the ground. Aardwolves do most of their communicating with the scent markings of their anal gland. This scent is smeared all over foliage to mark their territory and attract mates. They tend to make very few sounds unless they are threatened or startled. The only exceptions are some clucking, barking, and roaring sounds. If it's in direct danger, then the hairs on the back of the mane will stand up and it may emit a foul-smelling substance from the anal gland. The aardwolf may also chase the intruder out of its territory, but given the slow speed, it may prefer to let the intruder go. Only when the aardwolf is faster will it overtake the other animal and instigate a fight. Habitat The aardwolf prefers to inhabit dry open savannas and grasslands with minimal annual rainfall. It can be found in two separate disconnected places, the eastern horn of Africa around Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya, and the southern portion of Africa around Angola, Zambia, and South Africa. There is some debate about whether these eastern and southern populations should be considered as entirely separate subspecies because apart from their distinctive ranges, they are otherwise similar.